Hey everybody, how are you doing today? Please be patient with me, uh, with my voice. I am fighting off the flu, but as they say, the show must go on. Before we get started with this video, I want to thank everybody. We've reached 16,600 subscribers, and that is just amazing to me. And I want to remind everybody, you can become a member of eBuzz Central right now for just 99 cents. The beginning of next year, the MVP, VIP, and Pro will all disappear, and all the perks that are there will actually go to the eBuzz Central for just 99 cents. It's a good way to support the channel and a good way to support content that you love. Now, having said that, I want to send a shout out to the newest members of the channel, which is Sadiq, Alman Tefeki, and Germinator. Or maybe it's Germinator. I'm not sure. I'm quite positive I butchered both of those. So if I did, please let me know in the comments below. Today, I'm going to be covering a distribution that uh, we haven't heard much of uh, in the past two or three years. I came across it about three years ago. It used to be based on Ubuntu. And now it's based on Debian. Well, just let me go to their website. And that is Watt OS. Now, this is a distro that actually used to be based on Ubuntu, but now they have completely flipped over and it's com completely based on Debian. And they just come out the other day. A new Watt OS has been released for immediate download. It's simple, minimal, and fast. It brings your old computers back to life with Watt OS Desktop Linux. And then it says down here, tools you need without bloat. You get to decide what you want without the clutter and overhead. Now, it is a lot lighter, and what I'm going to do is go ahead and read the release notes. It's based on Debian 11 Bullseye, the stable release, LXDE Desktop 11, kernel 5.10. It comes with Flatpak support out of the box. It's got the Debian backports added to app, so you can add newer packages and firmware if that's what you want to do. Contrib and non-free added to app to ease installation of other items if needed. Calamares is what they're using as the installer. It's got the inclusion of GDEBI ease install of .deb packages. You guys know what those are if you download them online. And we'll go through it a little bit on the desktop. And then they've got their Discord information and their social links. And then you can download the ISO. And then download will be available on November 17th. So I've downloaded it. What I'm going to do is fire it up in GNOME boxes real quick. So let's zip on over to the desktop. And as it's loading, we will definitely have to go over to the display and get the resolution correct. But like I said earlier, I actually worked around in Watt OS in probably 2018. I liked it, but it wasn't one of those operating systems that just, you know, used Ubuntu and stepped forward kind of like a Linux Mint. But I've played around with it a little bit on this Debian base, and it's really a nice OS. If you're putting it on older hardware, or maybe you want to put it on newer hardware and just make that hardware fly, this is definitely an option. Now, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and fix our display. So let's come down here, go to Preferences, and go to Monitor Settings. And what we will want to do right here is go 1920 by 1080. And let's apply that. Click OK and we shall close. And let's go ahead and make that full screen. There we go. So out of the box, you get a nice lightweight LXDE desktop environment. If you just right click on the panel, you can create a new folder, select all invert selections, sort files, uh, desktop preferences. If you click on desktop preferences, it lets you change the appearance, stretch and crop to fill the monitor area. And then I think you're probably just gonna have one or two wallpapers, yeah. Let's go ahead and bring that one up. Let's open that one. I think I actually like the other one a little better. But you can come in and set your wallpaper up to whatever you want. Or link it to a file that's got all of your wallpapers in it. And then, of course, you can adjust your desktop icons if you want documents on the desktop. Or you can take those off and take the trash can off. And then advanced. Show menus. Use desktop as a folder. Things like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and close out of this and install Watt OS. This should be the Calamari's installer. And it's pretty simple. Those of you who've seen me cover different distributions in the past, it's got a welcome screen. You go ahead and click Next. You can set your location. Click Next. Set your keyboard. Adjust your partitions. You can just go ahead and do that. And then, of course, come in here and put your username in. And then your password. And then it'll give you a summary right here. And then when you click on install, it'll ask you, are you sure? But we're going to cancel that. So that's pretty easy. So that's the Calamaris installer, and that's how easy it is to install Watt OS. Now, if you come down to the bottom here, 
you got a little arrow let's click on it and this brings up your shutdown reboot suspend switch user lock screen log out or cancel let's go ahead and cancel out and then you've got time right here wired connection for internet and then of course you've got your sound and audio right here it comes out of the box on mute so make sure you double check that if you install it and you're like i don't have audio it's automatically muted out of the box then you've got two desktops over here and then there's the terminal let's go ahead and open up the terminal and see what we're running now if you can't see that let me maximize it a little bit for you out of the box with terminal open we're using about 397 megabytes of the two gigabytes i have issued to it now that is light that is really light and that's one of the things i like about lxde is that it's pretty functional but at the same time it runs really light uh, I still have a lot of people out there that say they like XFCE over it because it's a little bit more customizable, and I have to agree with that. But if you're not really into tune with that fully customizable or changing anything, just wanting something that's lightweight and you can use it, this is definitely a, an operating system to take a look at. So let's go ahead and close out of that. And then you come back down, you've got Firefox. And then let's go ahead and open up your file manager. And this right here looks to be PC Man. Let's go ahead and double check it. And it is PC Man FM 1.3.2. It's lightweight. Uh, you got your usual suspects over here, home folders over here, and it pretty much stays out of your way and lets you do what needs to be done. Now, it is a little less feature rich than, let's say, like a dolphin, but if you're not somebody that does a lot or gets really in depth of what you're doing inside your file manager, PC Man will work great for you. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Now let's come down here to the app launcher. Up here you've got accessories. It comes with screenshot, Vim, X Archiver, graphics, document viewer, G Thumb, internet, Firefox, and transmission for your torrents. Office just comes with document viewer, pulse audio controls, VLC media player, system tools. There's your GW package manager. If you're not familiar with it, basically what it is is if you go online and you find a Debian package that you can download. Once you download it, you go into Downloads, right-click on it, say Open it with, open it with GDB, and it will install it for you. Gparted, HTOP, LX Terminal, Task Manager, and then Preferences. you got Advanced Network Configuration, Customized Look and Feel, Light DMGTK, Monitor Settings, Power Saver, Synaptic Package Manager. And this right here is a great package manager, a great way to install applications on your system. If you don't want to use GDB by itself, pretty much it's a type search install type package manager. You just come up here and you can type in something like Caden Live and go do a search on it. It would bring Caden Live up right here. You could just click on it to install. Market for installation. These right here would be all your dependencies. Go ahead and mark all of those. And right there, it'd be ready to install. All you would have to do is click apply or come over, search for a lot more applications that you want to install just mark them all at the same time and then install them all at the same time so synaptic is a great tool i love it it's probably one of my favorite package managers let's go ahead and quit and then back down to the bottom i think you have log out and run and that's it guys that's just a quick look at watt os great lightweight distribution nuts and bolts just gets to what you need to get done easy way to install applications Based on the solid, stable Debian, you really can't go wrong with it. Is Watt OS something you might download, throw on a USB and put in a virtual machine, take for a test drive? Let me know in the comments below. Please do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. The more likes I get keeps me in YouTube's algorithm, which means the information you just saw in this video, if it was helpful to you, it can be helpful to somebody else. And subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we are producing, we are on three separate platforms, YouTube, Utreon, and Odyssey. And you can become members on all three. On YouTube, it's only 99 cents. On Utreon, it's $2.99. And on Odyssey, it's $4. You can also buy us a cup of coffee, maybe go over to PayPal and throw us a donation, or go to Patreon and become a patron to the channel. All those links will be in the description below. As always, thank you so much for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.